All wireless security is now broken by TCAT Hauser, www.trcb.me slash TCAT. Brute strength cracking just got cheap as software company Elkomsoft Moscow, Russia has applied for a patent to use the GE Force 8800 Ultra video card as massively parallel processing GPU. Currently the NVIDIA has a range of GPU monsters for most any budget. Looking at their web page pricing. While 20 clients may seem pricey, at $600 for the software, well, look at it this way. For double that you can be running 100 instances. And we also see in the feature list it does allow installation and removal, by remote. So that mean for a couple of kilobucks. You can use the screaming performance of a video card's specific capabilities towards possibly darker purposes. The website itself has the most conservative of claims. They are stating the NVIDIA GPU acceleration that is patent pending reduces password recover time by a factor of 20. Your article could be in this broadcast. Visit trcb.com to find out how. Others are claiming a factor of 25 times. For those of you depending on WPA2, or less. I got some not welcome news. Yes, Elkinsoft distributed password recovery software will use the NVIDIA GPU and rip through WPA2 the current latest and greatest in wireless encryption standards. The security professional's early take on this latest development is that even WPA2 is no longer acceptable as a stand, alone defense. And as bone chilling as that is, the register reports that by running the same software on a desktop with two or more NVIDIA GTX 280 boards installed, this figure increases to a factor of 100. The website further claims that it can reclaim Windows startup passwords, crack MD5 hashes, and unlock password protected documents created by Microsoft Office or PDF files created by Adobe Acrobat. If my fellow geeks are not yet breathless, we continue with a claim of liner scalability. With no overhead allows using up to 10,000 workstation without performance drop off. At first glance, it appears nobody has yet really has really done the number crunching for the output of up to 64 CPUs or CPU cores and up to 4 GPUs per processing node. Now sure, I'm the first to acknowledge that the, in theory, upper limit would cost today maybe a million or two, in United States dollars, with a short-term building budget. Perhaps the new scientist tech helps explain the disruptive nature when it quoted NVIDIA, with It is the way a GPU processes data that provides the speed increase. NVIDIA spokesman Andrew Humber describes the process using the analogy of searching for words in a book. A normal computer processor would read the book, starting at page 1 and finishing at page 500, he says. A GPU would take the book, tear it into a 100,000 pieces, and read all of those pieces at the same time. And if one or two of these NVIDIA cards can render WPA2 worthless, Think of what the budget of an entity that sees some sort of return on investment ROI, as it would measure by its own values, be they commercial or government spying. Makes me begin to long for smoke signals. TCAT Hauser is a trainer in information technology as well as assisting people understand the most complex computer all, the human brain. This necessitates his being a professional road warrior. As a certified technical trainer and subject matter expert SME at trcb.com it can be difficult to figure out what TCAT is currently researching. Help me please. I am number 2 on Twitter in Mexico. Can you help to become number 1 on Twitter by following me on Twitter follow me Twitter.